Hey everyone, Dan Bernard here with another tutorial. Today I wanna to talk about how to simplify your project using audio stems. So audio stems are used in the post-production world usually toward the end of the edit process. So for example, here I have an edit featuring an interview cut together with some sound effects, some, lots of different music here and there. It's pretty complicated. And if I were the audio technician working on this project, if it was being passed to me as is, this would get pretty complicated pretty quickly. There's a lot of tracks here, a lot of little clips, and I wanna deal with just a few tracks, maybe a few clips, and start really focusing on how to mix all of them well, rather than individually automating every single clip or doing a whole bunch of unnecessary mixing. So here we are, I've dynamic linked from Premiere Pro into Adobe Audition. And here I've just gone through and named the tracks. So in track number one, that's dialogue. So I've labeled it as such. Track two is just sound effects. And then these last four tracks here are just music. And you'll see here I've added a stereo bus track called Music Bus. And I'll get to that here in a moment. Rather than having one track with a bunch of clips in it for my dialogue, the stem will be a mix down of all these clips into one audio file that just contains the dialogue. And likewise with the sound effects track, it will just be one clip that has all these clips contained in it. And instead of giving my audio technician four tracks worth of music, I'm just going to give my audio technician one track that contains all this music and he or she can do the mixing from there. So we're gonna go up to file, export, multi-track mix down, and click entire session. If we just left it as is, we would get a mix down of all of our tracks into one audio clip. But what I wanna do here is click on the change under the mix down options panel. So from this window, we can select what tracks we want to be exported as individual clips. So if I click here on track, it will automatically select all of the tracks, but I'm going to unselect the music tracks here because I just want one file that contains all the dialogue and one file that contains all the sound effect. And then I'm gonna come down here and select music bus, which I've routed each of these tracks containing music to the music bus track. And then I'm just gonna have, and then the end result of that will be one clip that has all four tracks mixed down into it. And then I'm gonna hit okay. So here I am back in Adobe Premiere Pro and I've made a new sequence that just contains all of the video files for this interview. And I'm gonna bring in our stems that we just exported to show you how it all breaks down. So here's our mix down of just our dialogue, sound effects, the music bus, and then a master mix down of everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable that track so we can just hear these separate tracks. Just, here is just the dialogue really curious about his time during the war, him being a paratrooper in World War II, and so he asked him, Granddad, did you, did you ever kill anybody? And then here is the sound effects. And here is our music. And 11 years before that story, I had a similar conversation with our best friend Kyle. We were now, if I wanted to do some fine tuning and mixing here, now I'm only working with a few tracks rather than eight or nine. I hope this tutorial gives you a better idea of how to simplify your final mixing stage by utilizing audio stems. Hopefully this technique will help you stay more organized and structured and more efficient so you can get your projects done faster. If you have any questions or comments on anything that I've covered here in the video or something you'd like me to cover in the future, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more audio post-production tutorials in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Once again, my name is Dan Bernard, and thanks for stopping by.